Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Mercedes E450 all-terrain wagon, as well as learn about the features. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Though crossovers are significantly more popular, wagons still enjoy a dedicated fan base of buyers who desire practicality without SUV aesthetics. The distinction between wagon and crossover gets cloudier with vehicles like the 2021 Mercedes E450 all-terrain wagon. At its core, the all-terrain is an off-road oriented variant of the E-Class sedan. Compared to the sedan, the all-terrain has extra ground clearance and black body cladding on the bumpers and wheel arches. The all-terrain also comes standard with the optional air suspension. Additional off-road modes further enhance the all-wheel drive system's low traction behavior. All of these elements bolster the all-terrain's off-road capability, making it a tougher package overall than the E-Class sedan without venturing into full-blown SUV territory. The 2021 Mercedes E450 all-terrain wagon benefits from changes to the 2021 E-Class more broadly. Like the E-Class sedan, the all-terrain gets new front and rear bumper and light designs, and the cabin is reworked slightly. The most significant change is to the infotainment system, which moves from command to Mercedes' new MBUX interface. While a bit more menu-intensive than the old interface, MBUX features a robust voice recognition system that can handle just about every vehicle function you can think of. For now, the E-Class All-Terrain is only available with one powertrain, but it's a good one. The E450 utilizes a turbocharged inline 6 augmented by a 48-volt electrical system. It provides additional boost to the engine when needed and can turn off the engine early while slowing to a stop. Total output stands at a healthy 362 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Mercedes-Benz E450. 50 all-terrain wagon. Real quick before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at one of my other related build and price reviews. I've put the link in the description below. I don't do a lot of wagons because, well, there just aren't many wagons, but one wagon I did do, and it's a nice one, is the 2021 Audi RS6 Avant, and it is just gorgeous. I think Audi makes a beautiful automobile, and this wagon is no exception. So, after you watch this video, Make sure you watch that other video as well. Okay, a couple of things before we get started here. So before we actually jump into the build and price review, I want to go through the features of the 2021 E450 formatic, and then we'll come back and do the build. Also, we can see down here that they do make an AMG variant, and this AMG variant that has a starting MSRP of 112450 that would be the one that would compete with that Audi RS6 Avant. We're going to do the build and price review of, well, the base model, the regular core model E-Class wagon. It has a starting MSRP of $67,600. But like I said, before we actually jump into the build, let's check out the features. Let's check out the colors. Let's check out the gallery. And then we'll come back and do the build. And let's start off by checking out the exterior colors that are available for the E450 formatic all-terrain wagon. Yeah, it's important to mention that all-wheel drive is standard on this particular model. Uh, this color here is black, and it actually looks really nice. Let's look at the rest of the colors. Here's polar white, obsidian black, graphite gray, Mojave silver, lunar blue, cirrus silver, selenite gray, Dezinho cardinal red, Dezinho diamond white, and Dezinho selenite gray mango matte. Okay, moving on. Let's check out the gallery images now, uh, both exterior gallery images and interior images, and then we'll move on and check out the features. Here's a great shot of the front end with the lights on and the, and the, uh, the LED light, the eyebrows, I'm going to call them, above the lights, which are pretty cool. Here's a beautiful shot of the wagon. I'm not normally a wagon guy, but the wagon looks pretty nice. Here's a beautiful close-up shot of the wheels, the cross-drill brakes. Uh, you see the big Mercedes-Benz stamped uh, brake caliper. Here's a beautiful shot of a uh, Mercedes, probably in lunar blue, out on the countryside or out in the countryside. We saw this photo from the intro. It's a very nice shot. Here's another shot, a side view, a nice profile view of the E450 4Matic all-terrain wagon. I guess they're going to go scoop up their yacht, 
these guys here. Here's a beautiful shot of the LED tail lights, certainly LED tail lights. This is also a gorgeous shot of the exterior here. In this shot, we get a nice close up of the front end. We get to see the honeycomb mesh design of the grill and the lower fascia and just the beautiful design of the headlights. Here's a great topside shot that gives us a really cool interior view. Shows us the 60-40 split fold down rear seats that uh, that come in the vehicle so they can fit in that surfboard there. Okay, moving on to the interior photos. Here's a nice shot of the interior. Looks gorgeous. Here we have an alternative view and it's very nice. Now we can see more from the driver's perspective and we can see the whole dashboard and get a much better look at the infotainment, the MBUX and the whole digital dashboard. Here we can see the wireless charging. Here's where you can control the command. The I'm sorry, the MBUX now they call it. And you've got some other switches here. Here's a beautiful interior shot showing the whole uh, inside of the vehicle. It's very nice. And now we're back to an exterior photo. Beautiful shot of the wheels out in the snow. The grill is quite gorgeous. Here's a shot of what would be the tri-zone climate control in the second row. Here's the standard 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. Oh, and Mercedes still does the flip up back seats in the back. That's really cool. They've always done that. And so that's super cool that this feature is still there. So it's still a three row vehicle. Okay, that wraps up the gallery. Let's move on. Okay, let's talk about design features for the 2021 Mercedes-Benz E450 All-Terrain Wagon. Mercedes tells us that this uh, new E450 All-Terrain Wagon is brainy, it's brawny, it's rugged outside and underneath, but it's 100% E-Class within, which means it's richly refined and ever advancing. And it is nice inside of an E-Class Mercedes wagon, sedan, or otherwise. So here on this little movie clip that Mercedes is showing us, they're telling us really about the distinctive grill that the E450 all-terrain wagon has, the 19-inch wheels in flare-clad fenders, which we know it's got the black plastic cladding around the fenders. Uh, there's a power lift gate, a roomy, flexible cabin with that rear-facing third row that we saw from the gallery before, and the second row seats are actually, they're not 60-40, they're 40-20-40 second row seats. And you get up to 64 cubic feet of cargo space in this vehicle. So here's a great shot of the dual 12.3 inch displays. On the left hand side, you got the digital instrument cluster. On the right hand side, you got the MBUX interface with the innovative Hey Mercedes voice assistant. So they say there's extensive ambient lighting in the cabin and you can choose from 64 colors including multicolor and dynamic motifs. Okay, so here we can check out the optional night package that's available for the E450 all-terrain wagon. If we do this slider over here, we can see what a standard E450 all-terrain wagon looks like and it's a nice, nice setup. On this side, however, we can see the night package and they say you go even bolder. Dramatic black accents on the front and rear aprons, grill, side mirrors, side windows, and roof rails. And available with black accented 19 inch or 20 inch AMG wheels. All right, let's find out about the innovation features for this E450 all-terrain wagon. They say that this vehicle responds to your natural voice. It shares info with other cars. It can virtually see around corners and miles ahead. Well, here they were going to tell us about all the innovation, and all they've really done is just told us about something they just got done telling us about, the digital cockpit and the dual 12.3-inch displays, including a central touchscreen that's called the Mercedes-Benz User Experience. So it says here that the MBUX interface can listen, learn, and turn your words into action. For example, you can just say, hey Mercedes, then I'm cold or I need a coffee, and the MB User Experience can warm the cabin or set the standard MB navigation so you can actually find the coffee. They go on to say that you can also quietly control features via new, more advanced steering wheel touch controls. So Mercedes Me Connect, they say that makes ownership easy, must be an app because you can access and remotely start your vehicle, lock and unlock it, schedule service and more all from your phone. Uh, an in-car Wi-Fi is available for a low monthly rate, which I'm never into that. Uh, wireless charging is also available. 
while Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard in this vehicle. So here they're talking about something called car to x technology that links to a central resource so it can send you in-car updates about trouble ahead so you might avoid it altogether. Here they talk about how advanced systems can help de-stress driving from standard blind spot assist to pre-crash hearing protection. We'll make sure to go over the standard features before we do the build. All right, let's talk about the performance features for the 2021 Mercedes E450 all-terrain wagon. Starting with the 4MATIC all-wheel drive and the standard air body control, which features adaptive damping, load leveling, and adjustable ride height. Here they talk about that engine, and we know that engine. It's got a 48-volt uh, electrical system. It makes 362 horsepower, and that engine has made it to a 9-speed automatic transmission with a sport mode and an eco mode and an off-road mode as well. Okay, moving on, let's check out some quick specifications for the E450 formatic all-terrain wagon. This vehicle has a passenger seating capacity of 7 people. Cargo capacity is between 35 and 64 cubic feet. This vehicle has a 3 liter inline 6 turbo engine with EQ boost. We already know it makes that 362 horsepower. Fuel economy in the city is 22 miles to the gallon. Fuel economy on the highway is 28. And as we already know, it's got a 9 speed automatic transmission. Moving on, let's go over some key features for this vehicle, including the performance features, design features, safety, luxury, and multimedia. We see they've got five categories here and four things per category. So let's go over them real fast. So under performance features, they already start off by telling us, yep, we, we get the engine. We know that. We've got an engine in the car. Not only do we get the engine, we get that EQ boost, that 48-volt lithium-ion battery. We get a standard eco start-stop system, standard 9-speed transmission. Let's move on to design features and see what comes standard on this vehicle. Apparently, versatility of intelligence comes standard. And what they really mean is the LED headlamps, the air body control, the 4MATIC all-wheel drive, a beautiful cabin. Yet yeah, there they're talking about the standard all-LED exterior lighting. And apparently there's an optional panorama roof, offering both first and second row passengers sweeping skyward views. All right, let's move on to safety features. There's standard car to x communication, standard Mercedes-Benz emergency call service, standard active brake assist, and standard attention assist. Taking a look at luxury features, there's standard power front seats with memory. There's an optional active multi-contour front seats with massage, standard dual zone automatic climate control, and optional three zone automatic climate control. And we saw the three zones set up in that gallery image where they showed your whole you know, HVAC controls in that second row. Okay, lastly here for key features, let's check out the multimedia key features. We've got the standard 12.3 inch touchscreen multimedia display, the standard 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster, the standard steering wheel with touch control buttons, and the standard Mercedes-Benz user experience known as MBUX. Just one more thing to go over before we jump into our build and price review. Let's go over these packages in a little detail and it's worth noting that the these ones down here at the bottom these bottom what five these bottom five honestly these are just prepaid maintenance things like that that mercedes me connect service because you got to pay for that subscription all that kind of stuff so we're not going to look at those packages we want to look at these other packages like the night package let's find out the details of the night package so the night package costs two hundred dollars and you get gloss black exterior accents and a black headliner the exterior lighting package is nine hundred dollars and it comes with led intelligent light system headlamps and adaptive high beam assist there's also an optional warmth and comfort package it's $1,050 and features rapid heating feature for front seats, heated front armrests, and a heated steering wheel. Then if you want to be extra fancy, there's the optional Designio exclusive Napa leather package. It's $4,900. Here's what it includes. Designio macchiato beige saddle brown exclusive Napa leather upholstery, which is a mouthful and not really that attractive to me. Designio floor mats top stitch Napa leather dash trim, and Designo Macchiato Beige Dynamica Headliner. Then there's the optional premium package. It's $2,300. 
and here's what it comes with. You get a six month trial, all access trial of Sirius XM. You get the Burmester surround sound system, 13 speakers, 590 watts. You get the Parktronic with active park assist, the surround view system, and rear cross traffic alert. There's also an air balance package, which really is the fragrance package. It costs $350. You get the air balance cabin air purification system and you get some of the fragrances as well. Lastly, you have the optional driver assistance package. It's $1,950, and this is where all the tech is. If you're gonna do one package, make sure you do this package because Mercedes is known for all their safety and tech and all that stuff, cutting edge. This is where all that is. So if you're gonna put your money into any packages but you're trying to be cheap about it, at least do this package. Let's see what's included. Active Distance Assist Distronic, Active Steering Assist, Evasive Steering Assist, Active Blind Spot Assist, Active Lane Keeping Assist, Active Lane Change Assist, Active Brake Assist with Cross Traffic Function, Congestion Emergency Braking, Active Emergency Stop Assist, Active Speed Limit Assist, Pre-Safe Impulse Side, Pre-Safe Plus, Route Based Speed Adaption, active stop and go assist and extended restart and stop and go traffic now that is a package and honestly i think it's a bargain for one thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars okay now that we went through everything here we are on the mercedes configurator now we're ready to actually do our build and price of the 2021 e450 4matic all-terrain wagon i'm not crazy about any of the exterior colors and because i'm not we're just going to leave it at the no cost color black as far as wheels are concerned, looks like you got three different wheel options. Here they just started us off with what, what I'm assuming is the base model wheel, the 19-inch multi-spoke wheel. It's a no-cost wheel. Then here for the $700 upgrade, you got the 19-inch AMG twin, uh, twin five-spoke wheel with black accents. And then you've got the beautiful 20-inch wheels. They're AMG twin five-spoke, and they also have black accents, just a little bit different design. They're $1,450. And I think we're going to go with these wheels. Moving on, we've got some other options down here on this page. They've got that $200 night package. I think it's cool, but not, a, and it's not expensive, but I'm just not into it. So we're not going to get the night package. I do like the exterior lighting package, so we're going to go ahead and get that for sure. Uh, there's the panorama roof, which I think this vehicle certainly needs one with as long as it is. It definitely needs that. Uh, the rest of this, though... You, any of these things you can pick up at the at the dealer, these logo projector lights, the gloss black exterior mirror housings, the chrome door handle inserts, all that stuff can be picked up at the dealer. We can see down here in the corner that we're sitting at $72,000 even. Let's move on. We've got a couple more categories to go. Now we need to check out some interior stuff. So here we are on the interior tab, and there are a lot of upholstery and trim options. But we can also do a 360 virtual walk around of the interior. So before we go through all the upholstery and all the trim and choose one, let's do the 360. Unfortunately, we can't blow up the image to take up the whole screen, which would be really cool. But we can get a good look around at the seats. Standard interior on here is MB Tex, which is the full leather for Mercedes. Let's have a look down here. That looks good down there. We'll keep spinning around here along to the passenger. So this is our your black MB Tex Sport right here and the natural grain black ash wood. But we'll actually go through the, the trim levels after we go through these upholstery colors. Let's just get a decent angle where we can actually see the seats and the door panel and everything. So again, this color here is black MB Tex Sport, no cost option. Here's the nut brown with black MB Tex. Here's the macchiato beige with the black MB Tex. Neva gray, magma gray MB Tex. Here's the macchiato beige, magma gray MB Tex. Now we're into the leather interior. Looks like $1,620 they're showing for this black leather. Here's the neva gray, magma gray leather. Nut brown, black leather. Here's the macchiato beige and black leather. Now we're on to not just leather, but Napa leather. Here they're showing us the black Napa leather. It is $2,990. Here's the nut brown and black Napa leather. The macchiato beige magma gray Napa leather. And then here's that real expensive Dizinho macchiato beige saddle brown exclusive Napa leather. It was like $4,900 or something like that. 
I think that we'll just go with the standard black leather. So we've got black exterior with black leather upholstery. Now let's take a look at the trim. So this trim here is the natural grain black ash wood. The trim you can see right along the dashboard here, right by the, uh, the vents for the AC and the heat and all that stuff. Here's the brown ash wood. Looks a little different. Here's your natural grain brown ash. Here's the Designo Black Piano Lacquer Flowing Lines. It's a $1,300 upgrade. You've got Burl Walnut, which is my all-time favorite. And you've got this natural grain gray ash. We're definitely going to go with the Burl Walnut. So moving on, we've got some options on this page. There's the Warmth and Comfort Package, which gives you the heated steering wheel, which is definitely worth getting. But you could also pick up that steering wheel a la carte as well. But do you want the... Heated front armrest, you might as well. I mean, you can pick up the heated steering wheel uh, a la carte for $250, but for $1,050, you can go ahead and get the get those seats to heat up really fast in the front. You can get the heated front armrests. I'm going to say, yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and get that warmth and comfort package, but apparently to get that package, we also need to get the driver assistance package for $1,950. They haven't even shown us that. That's going to be on the next page which is fine. I definitely want to get that driver assistance package and the premium package. And I definitely would want to get the premium package because I definitely want to get that rear cross traffic alert. And I, I'm, I'm pretty keen on getting that Burmester sound system as well. So, you know, it's a very expensive option here. Look, you got a $2,300 package. You got a $2,000 package. You got a $1,000 package. It's ended up being very expensive just to get the warmth and comfort package. It doesn't leave you feeling very warm. Uh, but I do also want these illuminated front door sills for 350. I think those are super cool. Uh, I like the top stitched MB Tex upper dash and door trim. I think that's gonna add an extra touch of luxury. And it's only $350 and so let's move on. Okay, now we're on an options page here. And what else is there really the option? There's the air balance package, the air purification system, all that. I don't think I want that. I would like the heads-up display for $1,100. The three-zone climate control might be nice, but I'm not too worried about that. I don't really care about the ventilated seats. I do like the soft-closed doors. I think the wireless charging's nice. And I wouldn't mind having the manual rear-side window uh, sunshades as well for $380. What else is down here? They've got performance and safety. We've got the driver assistance package. And then they show wheel locking bolts, a dash cam, and rear seat side impact airbags. I think we're good on all that. We already have the adaptive high beam assist. So here we are at the summary. We can see that the MSRP for this vehicle was $67,600. Now we're at $81,850. But we have quite the E450 4Matic all-terrain wagon. I'm going to consider it pretty loaded. And while I'm not a wagon guy, and while I think Audis do a very good job of making wagons, this 2021 Mercedes-Benz uh, all-terrain wagon is really, really good looking, especially the way we have it spec'd out. But it should be. It's all the money. I mean, it's all the money for real. All right, on that note, you know what? We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this building price review of the 2021 Mercedes-Benz E450 all-terrain wagon with standard formatic, helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.